welcome back to the channel people well you already know i'm not gonna hold you don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i'm investigating and bringing you all of the tea people now listen people people this is this is i don't know even know how to describe this one people you already know you've seen you've probably seen a lot of videos going around already you've seen Natalia's videos you've seen adam's videos you've seen the tashaki interview so i'm just here to break them down for you people this is huge right so in case you missed it i'm just going to give you a rundown of all that Latoya said, some of what Adam said, and how I felt about the Tashaki interview, and then how I feel about the whole thing just in general. Okay, so Latoya, she said a whole a lot of things, right? But these are the things, the bombs that stood out for me right so the first thing basically was the fact that adam was texting this girl for what seemed like it was a long time right and latoya stated that in 2019 while she was pregnant he tried to take this girl to Cabo. right so that was the first thing and i think for the gender reveal adam and latoya they did go to mexico if i'm not mistaken correct me in the comments but i think they went to cabo as well so anyways that was the first thing that was like hmm really okay but she did say that she doesn't think that he actually cheated. But I mean, if you are talking to this girl or texting this girl for probably years, I don't know. I don't think Latoya gave like a timeline in the video of how long they were texting. But the way how she explained it, it seemed like it was a good enough time. So you're texting this girl, you want to bring her to Cabo hmm what are you bringing her to cabo to do to listen to praise and worship songs and like go swimming with the dolphins i think not but let's all yeah say that from what she knows adam hasn't cheated so we'll go with that then the second bomb 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 that she dropped was the fact that she actually did cheat on adam right so she went to a cruise i think a little bit after a little bit after they moved to atlanta she went on a cruise and she was physical with another guy she did say though that it wasn't they didn't um do the do but she was still physical with the guy when she came home somehow later um adam found out about it so this is the, the other bomb that latoya dropped this is a big one you know because as a woman i felt for latoya right i know even though she was wrong stepping out of the marriage you know he adam still had no right to put his hands on latoya so she basically said that adam when she came home from the cruise adam dragged her out of the bed pinned her against the wall and started to strangle her in front of the kids the kids saw and started crying then she escaped and went to the neighbor's house and uh, um, was able to call auntie julian because if you follow let's say you know that her and um auntie julian are very close so that's who she called first she didn't think of calling the cops or 
along that line she called auntie julian who probably was able to give her some good advice and tell her what to do in the moment and then latoya went on to say that you know during the marriage or while the marriage was progressing she um realized that you know she didn't want to stay in the marriage any longer so she wanted a divorce you know and she communicated this to adam but adam was not on the same page you know and she started to tell him where he fell down in the marriage and after telling him he kind of picked up things but around that time was when you know she got pregnant with aya and in latoya's mind based on what she said she feels that adam purposely got her pregnant because he did not want them to separate so he basically tried to use this third pregnancy basically as a trap or a means or control mechanism to keep her in the marriage keep her in the relationship so that she wasn't able to go Latoya also mentioned that um Adam he took out a restraining order against her because she got a gun basically and then she uh had a GPS tracker on his vehicle on him. So that kinda looked sketchy so you know he took out the restraining order and i can understand that and even latoya said that she could understand why adam would take out the restraining order looking at things on his end right no i'm just going to touch a little bit on what adam said and that's one of the things where or one of the things that he said that i really agree with him you know the whole restraining order because you're in the middle of a divorce with your wife or soon to be ex-wife and she has a gps tracker on you plus she bought a gun no matter what even if she no matter what type of story she tells you in a situation like that you're going to be on guard you're going to be looking at her sideways like hmm really so i mean i can understand the restraining order and that's one of the things that adam did touch on right he also uh, mentioned or spoke on the fact that latoya was only getting a thousand dollars per episode on real housewives of atlanta no as a youtuber even if she was getting zero dollars and zero cents as a youtuber you know coming on a major reality show like that the exposure is huge right she's getting all of this exposure as a youtuber she's able to flip to flip this car she's getting a lot of clout a lot of popularity from being on the show so she's able to flip this into thousands of dollars on her channel probably to get more than what persons on the actual show on the actual cast are getting so to state that she's only getting a thousand dollars per episode is really a non-factor for me because the exposure alone is like a lot for Latoya and Latoya knows how to um how to use this type of clout or how to use this type of popularity and gain on her channel so that is just not and void for me then to say that Latoya bought the role for herself and that Van didn't buy the role okay Van didn't buy the role and if Latoya bought the role for herself that is a big flex like okay she was able to buy a rolex for herself and that's a flex if a man didn't buy it for her she bought it for herself moving right along next caller adam and then really for me in um adam's life he said much of nothing for me he danced around a lot of things that latoya did mention in her 
um interview her homemade interview but yeah adam didn't really say a lot those were the two the two main things that really stood out for me are the three main things that really stood out for me that he said everything else was just really fluff right he didn't really say anything he didn't have any con anything concrete to really clear up all of the things that latoya said and one thing that i do respect that latoya did she didn't only mention the bad things that adam did she mentioned the good things or like she mentioned how much adam was organized how much he balanced her how much she just um handled her business and doing the behind the scenes things well right and that was what attracted her to him right even though the love wasn't there in the relationship she did mention that those were some of the qualities that she really liked about adam maybe she didn't say those words verbatim as in she liked but she did give him props where the piece props were due also she didn't just expose adam she basically exposed herself as well so i think that was one of the reasons why adam while doing his life he didn't really have that much to say about latoya because she already said what was what was necessary anything that he could have said she already said it and that to me is why i respect even though you know in a perfect world we would have rather her not say anything especially for the sake of her three children but you know latoya is a youtuber she's been doing this for years and if you know latoya you know latoya puts everything on camera right and this is just one of them but at the end of the day i respect it because she's speaking her truth for me watching her is basically speaking her truth so that things are no longer in the dark and she doesn't feel as if there's something that adam can bring forth to say or to expose her she's telling it telling everything and telling it all so that he there is nothing for adam to dangle over her head or use against her you know so she's telling her truth and i respect her for that another thing that i'm going to touch on is the tasha k interview now a lot of persons are saying oh latoya should have watched the video before she made her video but i don't know if i'm missing something but how does everybody know that latoya didn't watch the video because i watched that video one the interviewer she was spewing a lot of hate and a lot of disgusting comments against latoya while adam probably said that he was defending her in one instance he really was co-signing and agreeing with all of these disrespectful hurtful allegations against his the mother of his children and his ex-wife right so even though he probably didn't say a lot of things from his mouth right he did agree with most if well most of what this lady was saying which were hurtful disgusting things and i'm putting myself in latoya's shoes right i see my ex-husband the father of my children on an interview right with this lady who is basically you know bashing me and you're agreeing you're not saying much against it while you're saying okay this is not me who is saying all of this it's you that's saying it that's not defending her right you're still agreeing to what she's saying you're still nodding to it you're still entertaining what she's saying right that is very hurtful seeing all of that that must have been hurtful for latoya which probably did prompt her to make her interview video at the end of the day while it's not uh, and it's probably easier said than done but at the end of the day i feel like 
like you know being in a relationship for so long and realizing that it's something that you really didn't want because you weren't getting certain things from the relationship and they realized that basically you weren't um equally yoked probably that's why i should have exited the relationship earlier on but you know as she said adam balanced her out he was organized he took care of certain things so she became comfortable with that and it was hard for her to exit the in the interview not the interview the relationship at that point right so that's the only thing i would say like probably she could have done that differently right and i also would have thought that instead of you know cheating just exit the relationship but at the end of the day even though it looks really hard to do right now i hope they can eventually work things out and be on the same page and be civil towards each other because at the end of the day you know the most important things are are the most important persons in this situation are their three children right they'll hurt the most from this they'll grow up soon and see all of these things all of these videos on the internet and that is the sad part so for that reason i hope they can just be civil with each other and try to work things out but that's all i have to say on the situation people don't forget to like comment and subscribe comment down below tell me what you think tell me where you agreed with me tell me where you disagree with me and i see the comments i see all the persons that even though they say you know this is not your business while you're in their business you still take the time out to come and watch the video so you know kudos to you thumbs up to you keep watching keep liking the videos you know all the persons that do enjoy the video thank you for watching and as always you know i am investigating and i'm bringing you all the tea i have a little screenshots of some of the things that adam and latoya put up on their instagram story in case you missed it so you can you know stay tuned for that right now that's coming up now in this video welcome back to the channel people will already know i'm not gonna hold you don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i'm investigating and bringing you all the tea people now listen people people this is this is i don't know even know how to describe this one people you already know you've seen you've probably seen a lot of videos going around already you've seen natalia's videos you've seen adam's videos you've seen the tasha k interview so i'm just here to break them down for you people this is huge right so in case you missed it i'm just going to give you a rundown of all that Latoya said, some of what Adam said, and how I felt about the Tasha K interview, and then how I feel about the whole thing just in general. Okay, so Latoya, she said a whole lot of 